YouTube Trend Camp. I got a crazy day for you today. I'm going to introduce you to three new friends of mine. In fact, four new friends of mine. And I'm also going to attempt the 275 stone. I haven't done that in many years. You guys know that the goal is 300. I'm going to bring both my 275 and 300 pound stone here. I'm going to attempt it. We'll have to see. I don't know if I'll get it, but stick around and we'll find out. So we got those two fat stones, big boys there that are going to come to the gym in just a moment. But before we get started, I got some baby stones here for Colleen to lift. Check these out. The number one stone maker in Florida, Will, uh, created this here. I got to get them out. I'm going to see if Colleen can lift that. Watch out, Kyle. And then I got this one. 70 pounds. So those are my first two friends that I was going to introduce you to. And at first I was thinking of just getting the 275 stone out here. But I'm going to get the, 200, the 275 and the 300. Let's get these where my girl can start thinking about warming up on these babies. Hey wife, yeah. I have a gift for you. Look at these. Isn't that what a girl always wanted? No. At, they say Atlas stones are a, a woman's best friend. On, his, on your hand though, right? Not that kind of stone. Not around here, these stones. So that's a little less than 100. And then this one is 110. And you notice how Will put this, put these numbers on it. By the way, this is his, his name here, Will Development. Will Ramirez, I think is his name. I'm not really, I don't remember his last name. But I'll link him up on Instagram. So we're gonna lift those two stones there. Colleen's gonna lift those two. And you're gonna have to take a little trip with me back to the warehouse where I'm gonna find some way, somehow, to get those big stones up into the back of my truck so I can bring them here and load them. Hopefully I'll get some green grass, man. All right, so these stones are back here. Not only are these stones heavy, they're huge. And I don't know which one is which. I gotta get these up in there. And so there are a couple ways I could potentially do this. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it handles. Ball up the side like that. Nope. It's kind of flimsy, right? Take these, let's take these woods and see if we could roll them up. That way we just have to get it on the top of the wood. And then we can roll them up. I don't even want to try. I'm not warmed up. Uh, maybe, maybe if we use that just to get it onto here, and then we unwrap it. Hold on to that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you want the pad in here? No, no, I have no pad. Oh, that pad? Yeah. Can I go there? Yeah. You get the pad, the one right here. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, this, yeah. This is a lighter one. Definitely. It was much lighter. I gotta paint these so I know which is which. All right, man. And the circumference of those stones is tremendous. I think they're, I think they're bigger circumference-wise than, um, than the ones I have at Strength Camp. This is 275. That's the biggest one yet. And this might actually be more than 300, but these are just what I'm calling them. All right. So today is a brutal leg day. We're gonna begin with a heavy stone, meaning we're gonna lift up to as heavy as we can, both me and my girl. Then we're gonna hit some knees over toes squats, right? VMO squats up on the boards. Um, Colleen will probably use a board or not, but either way we'll have our heels elevated. Split squats, lunges. Reverse hyper, tip bar, and core. So let's get going. <laughs> 275s. 
75 next. I did it a couple weeks ago with you guys. I'm gonna try it tacky free today. One thing for sure, all these bigger stones are dusty. Showtime. So the diameter, the diameter on those are much bigger. Uh, and so it uh, poses a bit of a challenge for, yeah, a guy like me. Shorter arms, right? You know, these long orangutan arms like some guys. So we'll see. Makes good for some things like bench press, but. Picking up stone like this, I gotta get this, I gotta get around this entire circumference here. <laughs> the only other time I lifted a stone at this circumference, I think it was this big, may have been a little bit bigger, was when I lifted that 400 pound stone and almost dropped it on myself in that video. You good? <laughs> Actually wasn't very bad at all. Alright. I might do reps on that baby. But I'm still gonna try. I brought my 300, so I'm gonna try him too. So I should be able to do this. I've lifted a stone this weight or more for many, 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 many reps. I was giving myself to the end of the year to hit this stone. I may have achieved it within two months. Let's see. Now just for a little context, this was a stone that Kyle and I couldn't lift together. <laughs> we wrapped it up, we tried it together, we couldn't do it. And here I am now, and be a hero, and do it myself. Man, I'm slipping. All wet. Nope, slipping right off my chest. Would you be willing to get me another dry t-shirt? Either a gray one or one of these. today. Man, I just don't have it in me yet. We'll get there though. Stick around. Stick around for this series. That's why you're here. Remember that. That stone is going to be my bitch. Eventually I'm going to be doing a stone for reps. Wife, you want to attempt a PR with the stone there? Yes, 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 good. Now march your feet together, closer. Oh, Arms over the top. And you're gonna come up onto your toes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes! Hey, nice job. Pull it. Pull it. So I think I'm gonna stop there for today. Can't complain. Got the 275, which is PR for the new Elliot. And so it'll give us a little bit, a few more weeks 
before I can hit that 300. Just trying to be zealous. Next time. It's good that I, I, I failed where I failed. I, I lifted it off the ground, um, but I failed in getting it here. And so today I decided to start adding front squats back into my routine. And front squats really support that thoracic extension out of the, out of the hole. So I'll really be focusing on that. As my front squat goes up, because I haven't front squatted in, as a part of my routine in maybe, maybe six months, eight months, it's been a long time. So, and I haven't taken front squats seriously for over a year, at least a year, maybe longer. I've been doing a lot of back squats. So that'll be the main exercise I use to build myself up back to being able to load the stone. Picking it up was not a big deal. Loading it is the deal. A couple weeks ago, I showed that I was using a homemade tip bar to work the anterior tibialis, super important muscle exercise, something I learned from the knees over toes guy. And I guess the owner of a company that makes this called the Home Gyms guys, all the way from Australia, I, I received a package and I have this nice tip bar that was mailed to my house. So I wanna give a shout out to, I think there was a name on the package, Michael Sears from the gym guys, the home gym guys, all the way from Varsity Lanes, Australia. Sent this to me as a gift. So I don't have an email address for you, bro, but I'm sure you're watching these videos because you sent me this. I wanna thank you so much, much appreciated. Now that I have two, I can do supersets with my wife. She can do them and I can do them too. Should be, should be a decent way for you. So I want to say I really appreciate you guys who've been following me through my comeback. You know, it's pretty easy to follow a dude when he's high on the hog like I was a few years ago. But I'm making a comeback right now. I'm not the E I used to be. And to see that I'm getting so many views from you means that you actually want to be here with me. So I really do appreciate you guys. Look, I'm still striving. I'm still struggling. I'm still lifting heavy and aiming for the stars. And that 300 pound stone crushed me today. But I'll be back and I'm gonna lift that sucker. I'm excited to have you here with me to celebrate that day. It's coming soon. Until then, stay tuned. Done.